And I'm a Chicago, New York hybrid. You might have seen me scuffing my shoes before the show, trying to blend in with the rest of the Midwestern transplants. <laughs> if you guys want to roast me, any assless 90s actress will do. <laughs> I've heard Reese Witherspoon after the Coke, wow. Kelly Clarkson after the weight gain, wow. and Anna Nicole Smith after she died. I'll put some balls in your mouth so you can shut up. <laughs> as a single lady in my thirties, as a single lady in my thirties, I assume by now that I would have some fun, sexy diseases, right? Like chlamydia or lupus. Like Selena Gomez, she got really skinny after her lupus. I'm 32 and I've only had old man diseases. Well, uh, let's see. Okay. No, that's, that's just me picking at my face. Don't worry about it. Um, all right. Well, we've had sciatica. Uh, yeah. We've got kidney stones. I just uh, had some ingrown toenails removed last week. I've had every variant of COVID on pre-release. And I still can't get a pair of Air Force Ones. No, that's not because they sell out. That's because my melanated friends won't let me buy more sneakers till I learn to take care of the ones I already have. This notepad I got right here. This notepad I got right here. Um, long COVID turned my brain to a goldfish's brain. So that's why I got my notes. Wait, did I mention that long COVID took away my short-term memory? Hey, Dory! <laughs> <laughs> this is new. We're picking up on it. This is good. No, look, I see. I have the neuroticism and anxiety of the East Coast combined with the clogged arteries of the Midwest. I am one rent raise away from a heart attack. I think we're all one rent raise away from a heart attack, though, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so speaking of expensive, is anyone else in therapy? Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I personally don't have kids, but uh, therapy is costing me a fortune in her child support. <laughs> Julio mentioned I've been traveling. Uh, I've never been south before. And, um, you know, I started to feel real tired once I crossed the Mason-Dixon line. I thought it was jet lag, because, you know, we're 50 years behind. Yeah. I realized that's just what a southern breakfast does to your body. The porch culture makes sense now. You have to sit and deal with your breakfast. Uh, I went to Nashville and New Orleans. Okay. Any, any, no? Okay, cool. But Nashville and New Orleans, pretty cool cities, um, but they, you know, have fallen on hard times. Uh, they've been ravaged by, you know, global warming, the opioid epidemic, Katrina, and bachelorette parties. Yes. Drunk white bitches. We are the true virus. Uh, or woo girls. Woo! Woo! See, y'all have your. Your. We have woo! See, I can go into any establishment. I can go into any establishment and yell woo! And then I can tell you who's about to make a TikTok about a bodega. I also uh, went to West Virginia. My cousin had her wedding there. No, she didn't get married to me. <laughs> Guys, we're not punching down on West Virginia tonight because I'll have you know all nine Democrats in West Virginia are my family members, okay? And because the, the father of the bride was a florist, all five West Virginia gays were also in attendance. <laughs> this was a Puerto Rican West Virginian wedding, though. This is the great replacement that AOC has been playing. <laughs> there was avocado next to the grits. 
Hamhawk and Pernil were sharing the plate. And Bad Bunny was playing the banjo. <laughs> and meanwhile, you've got the Republican Party over here like, Oh shit, they're melanating the hillbillies! That was our last bastion! They're sprinkling sea salt on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> now meanwhile, I also went to Miami. And I recently found out that Miami was voted as the rudest city in America by travel and leisure. They took our fucking title. I'm pissed. They have no reason to be rude. They have 250 days of sunshine a year. If we had that much, we would literally burst into flames. Also, gateway to Latin America it means gateway to all the drugs. You think that we are the cocaine city? No, no, no. No, no, no. By the time it gets here, it's stepped on by an army. Miami, they're the true plug. The ladies, beautiful. Jesus, you're beautiful, and you're all natural. Yes, yes. Those are $20,000 titties in Miami. You can tell which ones they are because they got T-Rex arms. 